Sri Aurobindo (1872–1950) was once a key determinant in the early motion for Indian independence. He was once arrested by way of the British on expenses of sedition and after a deep religious ride in jail, he left politics to pursue a direction of non-secular seeking. Sri Aurobindo based an ashram in Pondicherry, the place he grew to become an outstanding non-secular philosopher, poet and spiritual master. His biggest work used to be the epic poems Savitri and his Magnus Opus The Life Divine. Short biography Sri Aurobindo Aurobindo Gose used to be born in India on 15 August 1872. At a younger age, he was once Sri Aurobindo sent to England to be skilled at St. Paul's. Sri Aurobindo used to be an outstanding pupil and received a scholarship to examine classics at King's College Cambridge. It used to be at college that the younger Aurobindo grew to become more and more involved in the fledgling Indian independence movement. Given a threat to enter the civil service, Aurobindo intentionally failed as he didn't choose to work for the British Empire. Upon graduating he determined to return to India the place he took up a role as a teacher. It used to be additionally on returning to India that Aurobindo recounts his first most enormous non-secular experience. He relates on how returning to Indian soil he was once inundated with a profound peace. This trip got here unsought however at the equal time, he persisted to come to be greater deeply linked with the Indian independence movement. Aurobindo was once one of the first Indian leaders to overtly name for entire Indian independence, at the time. The Indian Congress desired solely partial independence. In 1908, Aurobindo used to be implicated in the Alipore bomb plot in which two human beings died. As a consequence, Aurobindo used to be jailed at the same time as watching for trial. In prison, Aurobindo underwent a profound and life-changing non-secular experience. He commenced to meditate very deeply and inwardly obtained non-secular guidance from Swami Vivekananda and Sri Krishna. From the depths of the British prison, Aurobindo saw that Brahman or God pervaded the whole world. There was once nothing that was once separated from the existence of God. Even in the worst criminal, Aurobindo noticed at coronary heart, God or Vasudev. During his non-secular transformation, Sri Aurobindo acquired an internal command to provide up politics and commit his existence to spirituality and the descent of a new religious consciousness. He additionally acquired an internal assurance that he would be wholly acquitted in his approaching trial. Due to the tireless efforts of C.R. Das, Aurobindo used to be acquitted and was once free to leave. However, the British have been nonetheless very suspicious, and so Aurobindo determined to go to the French province of Pondicherry the place he commenced to practice meditation and non-secular disciplines. In Pondicherry, he additionally started out to appeal to a small team of religious seekers who wished to comply with Sri Aurobindo. As a guru, a couple of years later, a French mystic by using the identifier of Mira Richards, B. Alfasa, got here to go to Pondicherry. Sri Aurobindo noticed in her a kindred spirit. Later he would say himself and the mother, Mira Richards, had been one soul in two bodies. After the mother settled in the ashram in 1920, the company of the ashram used to be left in her arms while Sri Aurobindo more and more retreated to provide him extra time for meditation and writing. Sri 
Aurobindo was once a prolific creator writing some of the most distinct and complete discourses on religious evolution. Sri Aurobindo stated that his thought to write got here from his internal pilot, from a greater source. Sri Aurobindo wrote extensively, in particular, he spent many hours patiently replying to the questions and troubles of his disciples. Even on the smallest detail, Sri Aurobindo would reply with tremendous care, interest and frequently precise humor. It is fascinating to notice that Sri Aurobindo frequently refused to write for prestigious newspapers and journals, he often became down requests to return to the management of the Indian independence movement. Sri Aurobindo used to be additionally a seer poet of the easiest order. His epic Savitri is a testimony to his very own non-secular sadhana. For over 20 years he continuously sophisticated and amended this mantric poetic output. It grew to become one of the most effective stories of his religious consciousness. A burning love from white religious founts annulled the sorrow of the ignorant depths. Suffering was once misplaced in her immortal smile. A life from past grew. Conqueror right here of death. To her no extra used to be herbal to mind. Wrong should now not come. The place all used to be mild and love from the adoration of the Divine Mother. Savitri after shifting to Pondicherry, Sri Aurobindo hardly ever made any public announcements. However, on uncommon occasions, he did wreck his silence. In 1939, Sri Aurobindo publicly states his help for the British hostilities effort in opposition to Hitler's Nazi Germany. This was once a shock given his opposition to British rule in India. However, Aurobindo frequently warned of the stark risks of Hitler's Germany. Hitlerism is the best threat that the world has ever met. If Hitler wins, do they assume India has any risk of being free? It is a familiar truth that Hitler has an eye on India. He is brazenly speaking of world empire. May 17, 1940, in 1942, when the British made and provide of dominion fame to India in 1942 in return for full cooperation at some point of the war, Aurobindo wrote to Gandhi, advising him to accept. But Gandhi and Congress rejected his advice. Aurobindo wrote to Sir Stafford Cripps, as one who has been a nationalist chief and employee for India's independence, even though now my endeavor is no longer in the political however in the religious field, I want to specific my grasp of all you have carried out to convey about this offer. I welcome it as an probability given to India to decide for herself and organize in all liberty of choice, her freedom and unity, and take a tremendous area amongst the world's free nations. I hope that it will be accepted, and proper use made of it, inserting apart all discords and divisions. I provide my public adhesion, in case it can be of any assist in your work. Source. Apart from these uncommon forays in public comment, Sri Aurobindo focused on his internal work and writings. In November 1938, Sri Aurobindo broke his leg and retreated, even more, seeing solely a small range of shut disciples. However, he saved his written correspondence with them. Aurobindo felt his actual calling used to be to convey down a religious consciousness. He expressed his non-secular philosophy, the one purpose of my Yoga is an internal self-development with the aid of which everyone who follows it can in time find out the one self in all and evolve a greater cognizance than the mental, a religious and supramental 
recognition which will radically change and divinize human nature. Sri Aurobindo as soon as wrote that it is not possible to write a biography of a non-secular master due to the fact Sir Tuns of their lifestyles takes place on the internal aircraft and no longer outer plane. India performed its independence on 15 August 1947. Sri Aurobindo remarked on this event. August 15, 1947 is the birthday of Free India. It marks for her the quit of an historical era, the starting of a new age. However we can additionally make it through our very own lifestyles and acts as a free nation, and vital date in a new age opening to the entire world for the political, social, cultural, and religious future of humanity. August 15 is my very own birthday and it is naturally pleasing to me that it have to have assumed this considerable difference. I take this accident no longer as a fortuitous accident, however as the sanction and seal of the divine pressure that courses my steps. On the work with which I started life, the establishing of its full fruition. Indeed on this day, he says, I can watch nearly all the world actions which I hope to see fulfilled in my lifetime. Even though then they appeared like impracticable goals arriving at fruition or on their way to achievement. In all these movements, Free India might also properly play a massive phase and take a main position. On 5 December 1950, at the age of 78, Sri Aurobindo left his bodily body. He had currently stated that he may want to proceed his religious work from the soul's world. Citation. Pettinger. Tejfan. Biography of Sri Aurobindo, Oxford, UK, www.biographyonline.net. Published 3 August 2009. Last up to date 19 February 2018. How did Sri Aurobindo alternate the world? Sri Aurobindo lifestyles had two very wonderful phases. The political and the spiritual. After returning to India, Aurobindo used to be an important chief of the Indian innovative movement. Preferring to work out of the limelight, he was once nonetheless a effective pressure in elevating Indian aspirations to work for whole independence from the British. Aurobindo's activism got here, at a crucial time when he supported and influenced the new, radical voices which sought whole independence. However, Aurobindo's best aggregate was once nonetheless to come, as a mystic philosopher, poet and non-secular master. At the peak of the First World War, Aurobindo posted his philosophic opus The Life Divine, explaining his logician of religious evolution and the hope to seriously change human nature into the divine. The philosophy of Sri Aurobindo used to be a smash with a lot of Indian spirituality. Sri Aurobindo did now not consider in simply withdrawing from the world and searching for to obtain an internal enlightenment, he felt mysticism used to be solely a partial goal. He additionally sought the transformation of human nature and the divinization of existence on earth. Sri Aurobindo developed a philosophy of integral yoga, a yoga that encompassed all factors of existence and sought to deliver spirituality and mild into all matter. The non-secular life, on the contrary, proceeds without delay by using a trade of consciousness, a exchange from the normal consciousness, ignorant and separated from its authentic self and from God, to a larger awareness in which one finds one's genuine being and comes first into direct and residing contact and then into union with the divine. For the religious seeker this alternative attention is the one element he seeks and nothing else matters. Sri Aurobindo
Letters on Yoga, Volume 1 At the outbreak of the Second World War, Aurobindo once more confirmed his entire independence of idea and spirit. Surprising many of his countrymen, he wholeheartedly supported the British war effort, seeing in Hitler, darkish Asuric forces, which, have to they win, would preserve returned the world's non-secular evolution for centuries. Sri Aurobindo has soon as stated that it is now not viable to write the biography of a non-secular master due to the fact their actual work is on the internal planes, now not right now observable. In conversations with disciples all through World War II, Sri Aurobindo hinted it used to be after Dunkirk the place. He started presenting his internal will and internal aid for the motive of the Allies. On his birthday the 15th of August 1947, India obtained her full independence from Britain. Aurobindo took this as a signal of the divine windfall that had supplied him the assurance Indian independence would be achieved.